Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Kumar, and welcome to The Brain Coach. Have you ever pulled an all-nighter cramming for a test only to forget everything the next day? We've all been there. But what if I told you there's a better way? In this series, we'll delve into the fascinating world of neuroscience and explore evidence-based study strategies that can help you learn more effectively and retain information longer. Get ready to unlock the full potential of your brain. Let's kick things off with a study technique that leverages the power of spaced repetition. This method involves revisiting information at increasing intervals, which helps solidify it in your long-term memory. Think of it like building a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. And the good news is, there are awesome apps like Anki and Quizlet that can make spaced repetition a breeze. Now let's tackle the dreaded procrastination monster with the Pomodoro Technique. This method is all about breaking down your study sessions into manageable chunks. Set a timer for 25 minutes of focused work, followed by a 5-minute break. This cycle helps maintain focus and prevents burnout. Trust me, your brain will thank you for these well-deserved breaks. All right, let's talk about active recall. This is where you actually test yourself on the material you're trying to learn. Don't just passively reread your notes. That's like watching a workout video and expecting to get ripped. Instead, use flashcards, practice questions, or even just try to explain the concepts from memory. This forces your brain to work harder and makes those neural connections even stronger. Trust me, your future self will thank you during that big exam. Our brains love visuals, and that's where dual coding comes in. This technique involves combining verbal information with visual aids. Think mind maps, diagrams, timelines, even just silly doodles in your notes. By engaging both sides of your brain, you create a richer and more memorable understanding of the material. Plus, it makes studying way more fun. Ever tried to cram an entire textbook into your brain at once? Yeah, not a great strategy. Instead, break down large amounts of information into smaller, manageable chunks. This is like organizing a messy room. You start with one drawer, then another, until everything is in its place. Your brain can process these chunks more easily, leading to better comprehension and retention. Ever tried remembering a grocery list and ended up with only a jar of pickles and a loaf of bread? Mnemonics to the rescue! These memory tools help you encode information in a memorable way, like using acronyms, rhymes, or even creating a crazy story. Think of Roy G. B. V. for the colors of the rainbow or my very educated mother just served us noodles for the planets. It's like building a memory palace, one wacky room at a time. Want to know if you truly understand something? Teach it. The Feynman technique encourages explaining a concept as if you were teaching it to a child. This forces you to simplify, identify gaps in your knowledge, and solidify your understanding. Grab a friend, a rubber duck, or even talk to your pet. Just articulate your knowledge. It's like being a mini-professor, minus the tweed jacket and the tenure. Your study space is like your superhero lair. It needs to be optimized for maximum productivity. Eliminate distractions, find the right lighting, and make sure your chair doesn't make you feel like you're in medieval times. A clean, organized space can do wonders for your focus. Remember, a cluttered desk equals a cluttered mind. So declutter your space and declutter your thoughts. So we've covered a lot of cool study techniques, but did you know that moving your body can actually boost your brain power? It's true. Exercise pumps more oxygen to your brain and helps new brain cells grow. Think of it like upgrading your mental hardware. Whether it's a quick jog, a dance session, or some yoga, getting your heart rate up can make a world of difference in your study game. Alright, here's a study tip that feels like a reward. Get enough sleep. I know, late night cram sessions are tempting, but trust me, sleep is your brain's best friend. While you're catching those Zs, your brain is busy consolidating memories, making connections, and basically cleaning up the mental clutter from the day. Aim for seven to eight hours of quality sleep each night, and your brain will thank you with sharper focus and better recall.
let's get a little weird. Who here learns best by just reading a textbook? Anyone? No? Turns out, engaging multiple senses can supercharge your learning. Try reading aloud, writing notes, drawing diagrams, even acting things out. The more senses you involve, the more pathways your brain creates to access that information later. It's like building a mental map with multiple routes, making it easier to find your way back to that knowledge. All right, my fellow cerebrums, let's talk breaks. It seems counterintuitive, but stepping away from your studies can actually make you productive. Your brain, like a muscle, needs rest to function at its peak. Think of it like interval training, sprints of focused study followed by short recovery periods. These breaks allow your brain to consolidate information and recharge, making your next study session even more effective. Now, let's dive into the realm of mindfulness and meditation. While it might seem a bit woo-woo, these practices have been scientifically proven to enhance focus and reduce stress, both crucial for optimal learning. Meditation is like a mental declutter, helping you clear the noise and hone in on the task at hand. Even a few minutes a day can make a world of difference. Let's talk about analogies and examples, the superheroes of comprehension. Remember when your teacher explained fractions with pizza slices? That's an analogy. Connecting new information to familiar concepts acts like a mental scaffolding, making abstract ideas more concrete and memorable. So, get creative. The more vivid and relatable the analogy, the stronger the connection in your brain. All right, let's talk about keeping your brain running smoothly because you can't power a supercomputer with potato chips and soda, right? Just like your car needs the right fuel, your brain needs the proper nutrients to function at its best. Staying hydrated is crucial. Think of water as the WD-40 for your brain, helping those synapses fire smoothly. And food? Well, that's the building material for your brain cells. So ditch the junk food and load up on fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats to keep those brain cells happy and humming. So there you have it, a crash course in how to unlock your brain's true potential. We've covered everything from spaced repetition and the Pomodoro technique to mindfulness and the importance of good sleep. Remember, these strategies are like tools in your study toolkit. Pick and choose the ones that work best for you and experiment to find your perfect study groove. Now go forth and conquer those exams. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey to unlock your brain's full potential. If you found these tips helpful, give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more brain-boosting content. Happy studying, and remember, you've got this.